post Davy. so we're at home again it's snowing out like crazy of course once again so it's too hard to keep the garage warm we're in the stevie foe editing office today but um I, it's time i have all the stuff that i need to put my new showy rf 1400 helmet together for moto vlogging but first we'll we'll go over the the rf sr i use a gopro hero 8 with a media mod pop off the little door set it up so you don't lose it Open up the door on the media mod. The reason I do this is because it has a 3.5 millimeter microphone jack on the media mod. And we unfold the little ears. Okay, and then I have my microphones and everything set up inside my, my helmet to where this is the only thing I've got hanging out. So if I want to go without recording, I can tuck that away. I can take the camera mount off and then I can just run like that. But for moto vlogging, I would take this run up underneath here, plug it into the outlet, and bam. I am now set for moto vlogging. But I wanted a new helmet, and so now we've got to take all of this stuff the Senna, the Senna microphones that are inside the helmet, all three of them. I use Senna microphones for my moto vlogging. I have this battery pack. And this is a, it's outrageous, 10,000 mAh battery pack. Which this will charge my GoPro all day long. And I got one that will charge from a USB-C, a USB, and a Lightning uh, hook up like for an iPhone you can charge this three different ways and it's got two different two different cords on it or two different USBs on it so I can charge my GoPro and I can charge my Senna off of this battery I mean and it's all day long so this I would just stick back here use double-sided velcro and then I would just run this up and plug it in so I can run my GoPro all day long I can run my Senna all day long Never had to worry about the batteries going dead. So that also has to go on the new helmet. So we'll get all this stuff out and then we'll get the new helmet out and we will start on it. So I have had a couple people ask me how I ran everything in the helmet and I ran it along this side, which I won't be able to do this on the new one at all. This is the Senna microphone that was hooked up to my speaker so that you could hear miss amy talk or whoever i was talking to and then this is the one that was in here so that you could hear my voice so that's both of those they're all twisted up it looks like and i always have people ask me how i hit it because it's got these great big adapters to go from the 3.5 millimeter to the 2.5 millimeter which is what the center microphones are that's a 2.5 millimeter jack up in there. And the way I did it, I always said I would never show anybody, but I'll show you. I like totally cut away foam liner to make all this stuff fit. But hey, it worked and it worked great. Okay, so we got everything out. I know this doesn't seem like a lot, but we've got to somehow put GoPro, GoPro microphones, Senna all inside the new helmet. So to help at least install the GoPro, I've been in contact with the company called Ride Tech. And this is a GoPro mount for the front of the RF 1400. And a couple other little mounts that I may or may not use, but I got them anyway just in case. Okay, so we're going to try to figure out the center first because somehow we've got to put it on the side of the helmet. But I don't know how I'm going to do it because I can't put... I can't, I can't use the clamp mount up in here, so I might try to use the, there's a sticky mount for the side. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on too real quick. This is the Road Tech RF1400 mount for the front. And the reason I'm going to put this on right away is because this comes with an alcohol swiping, alcohol swab, 
and I don't want to go get another one. <laughs> so I am going to be lazy. Now I'm going to clean off this area for my Senna. And I'm going to clean off the front for the GoPro setup for the GoPro mount. 3M tape guys so I'm not worried about this falling off by any means I prefer the clamp mount but I am I'm not this doesn't scare me at all and the reason I have to do this is because this piece does not come out this is part of the liner so I can't get the clamp mount inside there and I don't want to break anything or ruin anything at the moment so I can leave that on there and do this can I? that's cool I can do this with it on there how cool is that I like that I like that a lot Stick her down. Pull this out again. So now you hold it down. I'm going to hold it down for the whole 60 seconds. And 60 seconds later. I am not worried about that at all. So I'm going to go ahead and install this quick now too. And this will go. <laughs> And this will go right here in the front. How awesome is that? That's so awesome. So excited for this mount. I'm going to apply pressure for 60 seconds. That's usually what they say with a 3M tape or whatever. So 60 seconds. There we go. I'm going to put these back in, but I'm going to take them right back out. I love the way these cheek pads go on. It's so simple, so easy. Cutting a notch in the chin curtain for the microphone cord for the splitter that I have. So I can run two microphones. Can't be that easy, can it? All right, so here we have it, the finished product. We have the GoPro installed with the Ride Tech mount on the front. Very sleek. You guys remember before, the mount here on my RSFR, and it had to curve around to the front. This one does not do that. In fact, when I put this helmet on, I don't see the GoPro at all. I'm not used to that, but I can get used to it. So I can still use my vents with the GoPro on which is awesome. I can still get to the button for my visor. I'm still waiting for the tinted visor. They say it's supposed to ship mid-February, which I will get it on time for our trip then, if as long as it does it. Um, the center on the side is on the sticky mount instead of the clamp mount. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. Um, the whole GoPro's on with the 3M tape all the time. That's what this is, is 3M double-sided tape. So I'm not worried about that at all. You see that the charging light is on. And the charging light is also on on the Senna because I installed the battery pack on the back. And this one charges both of them, like I said earlier. So I did have to tape some of the microphone stuff on the side of the helmet, but I don't know. I'm not too worried about it. Um, but let's put it on and let's give it a shot let's give it a listen all right guys so this is the view from the from the new helmet with the new red tech gopro mount and everything i like it it's really sleek it's um so far is the best is the best setup i've had i think anyway um i don't feel the camera i don't feel i do when i bend down a little bit there i guess i don't feel the battery pack on the back i don't feel the center I do if I do that I guess um, I'm really I'm happy with the way it turned out though I think this is gonna be good like I said waiting for the tinted shield yet I think this is gonna work as long as you guys can hear everything through my center okay
this works out if not um it's always fun to tinker with it to get it right um it took me it took me a while with my old helmet too to get it right but everybody if you like this video hit the like button if you want to see more stuff like this subscribe hit the bell notification so you know we load up next until next time everybody stay cool and we will see you in the next one